The Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IABC, was on the spot at the Supreme Court today over its decision to postpone elections with petitioners telling judges that the postponement of elections in five electoral areas had led to voter suppression. Lawyers representing the IABC fought back the accusations by petitioners, adding that the electoral body had comparative data that showed that voter turnout in the affected areas was in fact higher than in nearby constituencies for the parliamentary elections. Mary Morkey reports. IBC, through its lawyer Mahat Somani, refuted claims that postponing the gubernatorial elections in Mombasa and Kakamega counties had any impact on voter turnout. Senior counsel Paul Mwangi, representing petitioners Raila Odinga and Martha Karua, pointed out the link between postponement of polls in Mombasa and Kakamega counties and voter suppression. Elections affect each other. People come out to vote for various reasons. In Kenya, we do have six-piece uh, kind of campaigns and that people come out to campaign together as teams trying to win across the board on all the seats and that when you disenfranchise one, when you uh, stop one election, that means you demobilize part of the political infrastructure. Senior counsel Feroz Noji, also representing the petitioners, read malice in Chebukati's decision to postpone the Mombasa and Kakamega elections, terming the Gazette notice announcing the postponement as illegal. When we put forward the manipulated postponement of Mombasa and Kakamega, we showed to the court that the Gazette noticed the power which Mr. Chabukati used was illegal because in the Gazette notice he lied and put forward just half of what the power he has. Madam Chief Justice, you may, I'll, you may, Senior I'll, Counsel I'll, James Orengo termed the postponement of elections and subsequent voter suppression an attempt to illegally install someone in office. The elections in the five areas were postponed due to a mix-up of ballot papers identified on August 8, 2022, a day before the actual day of voting. The polls were later rescheduled to Monday, the 29th of August. Mary Mwoki, Citizen TV.